What's up, y'all? This is Big B, and yeah, sorry for a long wait, because I been busy away from everything, but which is pretty much what I'm going to talk about in the next video, but coming up next, like promised, this is the 198th video, and that's where I'm doing not just this cap, but I had to do this cap, wait for it, I'm not done yet, got the other cap right here, no, 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 I'm not done yet, I'm doing this cap, oh yeah, and last, but sadly the least, this cap, yes, in issue 3 of Fear Itself, and I hate to give it be a spoiler, this guy bite the big one thanks to Skull's own daughter putting the nail into his heart. Oh man. You know who he got to be back as Cap? You know our boy Steve Rogers. So you know something good's gonna come up. Yes, the movie's on its way, and I'm gonna do do this all in one video. Next, it's all nothing but the captain. Next. Okay, guys, we start with the movie cap. Now, I gotta say, he looks kind of, you know, at first I thought he'd be, you know, disappointing, but uh, once I got him packaging, he looks kind of workable, you know. I kind of like the um, the application on him, like, man, including the scope, even few, with very few paint apps, it's pretty tight work. I just like how he, he looks spot on to the movie. Now, again, he, he come with accessories. The gun, the shield, the hard dome, and that translate to one thing, the helmet. Now, it looked like Chris Evans a little bit, knowing that the figure looks kind of cool, but still. I just, at first, I thought the costume would be, you know, not that great, but on a real, it looks kind of freaking looking nice. You know, I gotta like the, the, um, yeah, guys, sorry about the lighting, just that, yeah, the lighting's not that great at all. Let's get this, Yeah. I'll take away his helmet. Yeah, look at his face. He looks pretty good. I like the um sculpt on the head and my guy on the around the back. He got plenty of holes to use for his shield. And yeah, I like the um holster for the gun. Now, I try to put it in there, but um it's kinda, you know, look thin on my cap. And yeah, he's kinda work kinda work very limited, you know, but still. I like the articulation on him. You know, the legs it's kinda look alright, but when you try to Move his legs on the upper to the to the hip area. It's kind of like a workable adjustment. So still, but not to worry, guys. But still, he's workable. Now he got all the good articulation, but does he stack stack up to the other caps? Now I'm looking at the Ultimate World War II version of Cap. Yes, me and Jay had done this here last sometime late last year, and yeah, from the differentials of this, this was supposed to be last year's. San Diego Comic Con's um, exclusive um, Ultimate Cap. Now, if you turn this time into the Captain America line, tell you the truth, he's not bad. Scope wise, he looks fantastic. But articulation is limited. Not as great to the, um, like the Cap over here and the other ones next to him. It's just that, again, he's limited to what he got. But I love the shield, though. The original Captain America shield. Now, it rivals the, um, the other Cap shield. The Golden Age cap feels pretty nicely. Still, just that I love the scope on him. The um, accessories, again, the shield. This time he got himself a Tommy gun of sorts, and the pistol and his hard dome. Yes, that's his helmet, y'all, from World War Two. Again, I love the design. It reminds you of the Captain America from World War Two, from the Ultimate Power Book line, and then the first issue. Still, I just gotta say he looks spot on. But again. His articulation feels limited, not as great to the um, other ones, but still, he's workable. Now we take a look back at one of the first wave of the Marvel Universe figures, and knowing that, yeah, we gotta take it a little bit forward of sorts, and see 
ultimate cap. Now, this is my fa favorite of the line so far. Because, again, the word articulation, moving around. But I gotta love the shield that fits him so well. And yes, the costume is more of up-to-date of sorts. Thanks to, um, you know, the costume made up more, let's say, loosely of the ultimate, um, universe's cap. Still, I gotta like the, um, the traditional red, red, and blue look. Even the, um, boots got more military on them. It's still the articulation, perfect. Gotta love the legs, the feet, even the waist area. Just that it looks more better. And safe to say the shielding is not bad, but I like the shielding later on in the, in the toy line. Still, this captain fits so well in any line so far. But still, does he beat out his, um, his, um, first look? Sorts? Yeah, he looks more, a little bit more better. From the arm articulation, even the wrist, I mean, the, even though it looks kind of cheapy looking, but the articulation made it up for it. The scoping is pretty tight work, but again, what I can say, this is one of my favorite caps of the line so far. Still, does it stand up against his, his counterpart? Okay, how do I feel about regular continuity Captain America? Now, I love the scope on him so much. Now, I feel a little bit disappointed. Because one, one of the kneecaps, well, one of them is loose as hell. And plus, he was kind of tough on his um, hip area. But his arms and his upper body works very well. So I'm not going to try to get him into action pose. But at least he got a good stance. You know, he's ready to kick some serious um, patriotic ass on everybody. But still, nonetheless, I love the scope on him. He just looks wicked sick dope, I gotta say. I love how they did his face right here, which is sick. Wicked sick dope. Yeah, I love his shield right here. It looks kind of cool. And as for the sculpting all, all around, it looks kind of, yeah. No homo, I'm not trying to say that, but I love some of the, some of the in this test, even though it's bright, it got some good idea. Now, here's where I have a complaint about. His knee is too loose right here. You tell the discoloring of blue right here. And yeah, he got done joining the knee, trying to get him a good, you know, you know, in and out, but still, his legs, will, 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 you know, have that articulation right there. But nonetheless, this cap is one of the most disappointing ones of them all right here so far. Still, he he cannot he cannot hit hit the um the previous one that because again the previous one got a better repulsion than he does. But which leads up to our last Captain America, and finally we look at the Bucky cap. Yes, I'm talking about the cat Bucky cap. Now again, I love the scope on him and the art, the, and the colors on him are just strikingly dead on to the comic book. Now, sadly, yes, if you read um issue three of Fear itself, I mean, Cat took on sin, and Bucky Cat took 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 her toe to toe, but he was outpowered and outmatched. And believe it or not, she was that powerful enough, and you know, she gave her she gave everything to our hero, and yes, she beat the holy hell out of poor Bucky Cap, and he didn't give up. Now, the only thing I was disappointed about that he should use his gun to just wing her big time. But knowing Bucky Cap, he he trying to fought, trying to do his own thing, and well, he did his best. But like I said, he was outpowered and strongly outmatched. Still, he just you know, let's say. I'll let you read that story before you know the final answer, and yes, again, he died. But how he died? Oh, boy. Now, again, like, um, like Mary Cottonelli Cap, he has some issues with his legs, and still I don't want to ruin it, but he got some good articulation on the arms, though, nonetheless. He has no waist articulation, but still, he got some on the upper body that goes left to right, back and forth a little bit. His head looks good. Now... Again, I love the scope on him. You can tell right here. I have a hard time standing, but he looks kind of wicked sick dope. But nonetheless, he, he comes with his knife gun. And take a look. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nice. I love the um, shielding. And yes, the paint apps look sweet. And this here also, like like um, the move, like the um, Captain American Miller Cotton, Cotton the Cap, he comes with the shield. And that, Wait a minute. Bam. Looks nice. But still, as a complete set itself, which cap that I, I strongly recommend? 
the Marvel Universe cap because again, articulation it fits good, including the, the paint apps and the um sculpting. Followed by um the movie cap because it got the perfect articulation and sculpting as well too. Followed by um my Ultimate Cap World War II version, and yes, even though he came out last year and finally come to shelves, he looked pretty nice and pretty right. But again, uh, right, Ray Cotton in the Cap got some issues, but again, I, he's workable a little bit. And lastly, Bucky Cap. Still, do I recommend all of them? I'm a serious Cap fan. I suggest getting them all while you can. Still, with the movie coming up, these caps are wicked sick dope from sculpting, articulation, and so many others. At the end, I can see that you